All right, we're on to the next vibration machine. This is the Vibratrim VT400. And you can see this is the, uh, the big daddy of machines. This has got a solid base, two horsepower, 500 watts. It's actually got two engines powering uh, both the forward spiral motion and the lateral motion. So this thing is built to last. It is built for uh, weight. It is built for endurance. So, and you can see there's a really nice control panel, steel upper here, solid handles, nice well-lit display console, and uh, let's give it a go. Nice, sturdy, comfortable pad and mat. I'm just going to go in the forward motion here, real nice, real easy. I'll tell you, this is, uh, this is a real gentle feeling to it. It's got a nice kind of control, but very noticeable vibration. Matter of fact, kind of like this one on low level. We go up high, feel, you can start to feel some of the power of the engine. So even as you go up in power on this one, you can actually feel the difference. The power is more noticeable as you go up from uh, zero to the maximum power. I'm going up to the maximum power. And some of that rattling is from that wood platform. Uh, and this is just with the uh, front to back motion. I'm going to drop it, throw in some lateral, and make it a more triangular. Again, the difference is in the, the grade between the power levels is much more noticeable in this because the engine is that much stronger. So you really have to use less, use less machine to get the same result in some of the less powerful machines. I'm just keeping it at this low level and it is satisfactory. I can feel the vibration. I can feel it doing its thing. It's nice, it's centralized, it's balanced and comfortable. And this, this is a, this is a, about just hitting 20 on the lateral motion, and the engine is so powerful, it's actually, uh, too high, because you can, you can tell if the machine is, putting me, it's, it's moving more than I'm able to actually weight it down. So the fact of the matter is, is that you're going to have to tune the settings, the power settings with this to your weight to make sure that the machine is not on a power setting that's too powerful for your own body weight and posture. You got to get it down to a level that's comfortable for you. See where I said that's a nice, nice level, it's humming, it's doing its thing and I can feel it nice. But the settings are real low, which means that you're not going to wear this engine out. Um, even if you're a bigger person, you need the bigger machine, this engine is what's built, to, built for that kind of power. It's going to be able to last. Um, probably better than, better than the weaker engines with, its, uh, with all this wattage that it's got. And you can see just even at that 20 setting, you can see that this thing is kind of not quite catching air, but I feel like if I turned it up high enough, I might as well. That was a lot of vibration right there. All right.
guys. This is a, all the transitions. This thing are smooth. You can feel them. The, it's just uh, very nice. It's smooth, and uh, you can you can do your own little cyclical uh, variations. It's nice. Well, after being on that machine for just about four or five minutes there, um, of course it tingles your legs and your feet, right? It gets, a, especially when you do a lot of the front forward and back motion, your feet will get tingly below the knee, it gets real tingly. And as you get the ladder, mix the lateral motion in, it, you can feel your hips moving a little lot more hip action going back and forth. And you can feel it if your posture's right, it should be going and you can feel the alternating energies along your spine and after a while you kind of relax into it and you can feel all up your spine and you can even feel it kind of gently massaging 